Would you want? Would you like to save? No. Whoa. Sup. Zant! Oh, this is the Zant feller. Looks like we meet once and for all. No, not the few shadow. I worked so hard for those, you bastard. Did you honestly mean to take an ancient and withered power like this and turn it against me? Psh, you are a foolish traitor, Midna. Why would you defy your king? My king? You, who do nothing but abuse the magic of your tribe, you must be joking. How dare you? Are you implying that my magic is our old magic? Now that is a joke. Whoa, don't let us throw it to the ground, that's not cool. This power is granted to me by my god. It is the magic of the King of Twilight. Fine, don't let me read it. Yeah. Whoa, what the hell? Oh god, it just came inside me. My Midna, did you forget? The beast is one of the light dwellers who oppressed our people. No matter how much you may desire otherwise, you will never be more than a shadow in their world. You cannot consort with their kind. But if we can make their world ours, Midna, light and darkness will meet at last. Our tribe will take back their realm and sweet darkness will blot out this harsh light. And that and that is why. I need you. Not just for me, but for all of our people. Lend me your power. So be it. I will return you to the light world you covet! Uh, I don't think that's a good idea, Zant. Don't do it, man. Seriously, don't do it. No, 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 no. Getsu, hero chosen by the gods, or goddess, says. Go to the princess locked away in the castle. 
That princess holds the key that can unlock you from your shadow form. Alright, well, appears Minna's in the light realm, and she does not look good at all. <clears throat> Ugh. Looks like I'm choking on something in the recording, goddammit, but, uh, this music right now is really awesome. It's very sad, yet, like, soothing. I don't know, it's just uh, lovely. But we'll lose it the second that we come close to a monster, which is kind of lame. So we shall go to the land that is known as Hyrule Town. Or Castle Town. They change it every game, I cannot like stick to one. Actually, I think it's called literally Hyrule Castle Town in this one. Either way, let's go. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> Spent that whole time trying to clear my throat in that. Just because, oh god, it keeps making me cough and that is so annoying and watch this. Rawr! Fear the wolf! <laughs> wow. That maniacal laugh did it. Hey, children! Aw, oh, you mad guard! You gonna protect the civilians? No, you're not, cause you suck. I haven't seen your face around here before. If you want to know about this town, you should go ask Louise. Helma's cat. <coughs> Let's do that. First, one more time. Ahaha, uh -huh, I love scaring children. Now, let's scare the rest of the town. Wee! Oh god, I love being a wolf in town. You just scare everybody that moves. And this cat won't leave us alone. Hello. Stop following me. You look so stern with that look on your face. You'll frighten the humans. That's the plan. And oh my god, the cats love me. Even though I want to eat them. Rawr. Ravaging a wolf invaded the town. Run. Run. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just loving this. Alright, well, uh, let's go see Telma. This will be the best plan ever. Beast, get out! Okay, well, that backfired faster than it took off. Alright, well, let's get out of here. You there. Hey, it's Mr. Kittles himself, Louise. You're Getsu, correct? Mm, yes, I thought so. I could just tell, you know. I'm Louise. Do you remember meeting me in the shop before? Though I don't think we were properly introduced. Yeah, I seen you when you were a kitty cat. In any case, I must tell you, I'm a bit puzzled as to why you look like that. Really, dear, you can't blame the humans for tossing you out the way you look. You're the kind of wolf that eats their livestock. Oh, another patient. You certainly are a curious sort. Please. Princess Zelda. This way. Here, get in through the window. The attic is connected to the castle's waterway. It is an old waterway, though, so it could be a rough trip. Well, I suppose it's all left to do is make sure that the humans don't notice you. Well, let's try to do that and get up there. 
First, you gotta push this boulder, because if you talk to the cats, they'd be like, there, be, there, blah, blah, blah. there must be some way for you to get up there, oh my. So let's crawl in and sneak by. We are now Metal Gear Link, or Metal Gear Wolf. So if you knock down any of these pots, they'll notice you. Watch. What? What was that sound? Oh, he didn't notice me, I guess. Well, one more, one more. Beast, get out! Figures I'd fall off when I try to trigger it. Oh well. Let's do it for real this time, because that does not count. It's really not that bad to actually just walk around the pots. But, me saying that's probably going to make me just screw up every time I see a pot now. So let's walk across the ropes. Doo -doo -doo. Eh, we can see downtown my shirt. Ugh! Oh god, why did I do that? Oh god. Ugh, no amount of psychiatry is gonna fix that. Uh oh, that would not have been pretty if I would have fell there. Hey, it's. So, some random people there. Aren't they having a ball? Sitting there talking at a table. Maybe we'll have to introduce ourselves later. You know, when we're an actually a person. Well, I'll talk about a baller. His room's golden, so is he. And there's a little lantern. Let's check it out. Oh my god. Um. How's it going? That sight there, you got there. That's not meant for wolves, is it? Well, if it is, die! What? Oh crap, he went off the map. Shit! Okay, he came back, thank god. I was wondering what the hell I'm gonna do. I've never had that happen before. Alright, well, when he's down, finish him and rip out his heart. Or his soul. You got the pose soul. Collect one from each pose you defeat. See how many you have at the collection screen, because we're soul eaters. Ha ha ha. But yeah, if you take a look, now there's one thing for everybody. Yay! And there's pull souls. Or pose souls. There's plenty of them to go around. So, hello. Oh, thank you for beating the, the ghost. Can I call you Doggy? I'm Giovanni. I became consumed by greed long ago and sold my soul to dark creature that did this to me. I can't move. I can't go see my girlfriend. My pet cat Gangle is frozen on my head. I don't think I could be more miserable. I have to ask you a favor, Doggy. Can you find and defeat 20 ghosts that lurk in the dark for me? I think you can free the pieces of my soul from the ghosts that hold them, I'll be free. Oh, but it's raining out now, so I don't think you can go outside directly. I'll open the door to the underground waterway for you. And the end justifies the means. Hooray. Once the rain stops, you can come back in here by digging around the front wall where the cats gather. Understand, doggy? Sure thing, buddy. Well, let's go do that. To the waterway. Yay, more fun slides. Where are you glowing a go goes? Look at the size of those rats. Holy crap. Jeez, those things could take a chunk out of you, like, by. My god, I'm just kind of speechless here. Oh well, we're gonna skip those rats because that's like New Jersey style right there. But instead of rats, we get gigantic spiders! Hooray! This is actually not an improvement. This one's easy. This pretty much surprise attack. Just get him when he least expects it. And this one is easy too. Just when he raises his fangs, kill him like usual. And they're dead. Oh, wait, it's not that Crap, crap. Ah, oh, I thought I killed it. Nah, damn it. Now it's dead. Alright, well, um, there's a spider web here. You can't get through. 
But as Ocarina taught us, fire kills the spider web, so let's abuse it. Good stuff. Alright, well, let's um, light the torch here. And over here, even though there's literally no point actually lighting the torches. Grab it again. Bring the flame with us. Light this torch this time. And climb up. It's actually very straightforward. There's really nothing in here of any importance, honestly. Some bats and that. So let's walk around and get some boxes. Aha, we taught those bats and mopped them in a lesson. Well, let's bring the stick with us for fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, if you thought the thing would actually hurt them, you're mistaken. Would have been cool if you could throw a stick at them, that'd be awesome. Well, let's kill this guy real quick. Even though you don't need it, because, um... Well, we reached a dead end. Where could we possibly go? Where could we possibly go that isn't this little hole in the ground that we can dig in? <gasps> I guess it's the hole. My god. I'm amazed that we found such a secret passage.